U.S. 2020 Election The United States is a divided nation as things come to a head with the presidential election. Many are worried about new economic changes and foreign policies. Donald Trump, the current president, has strong support from business owners and those who focus only on economic matters. Joe Biden, the current lead in polls, has a slight lead on Trump. However, most of his supporters are not enthusiastic about his candidacy, rather showing signs that say, Fine, Biden. The whole world laughed and cringed at the videos from the first presidential debate where Trump spent most of the time interrupting Biden and the moderator. Surveys showed that Biden won both debates. Unlike many people think, United States citizens do not directly vote for the next president. Instead, there are 538 electors that make the decision on who becomes president. The number of electors is based on the population of the state, and most of the states will vote by majority of their state's overall votes. If over 270 votes are not won by either candidate, then the president is decided by the House of Representatives. Most red and blue states are guaranteed to vote for their party. However, the candidates try to cater to the swing states, battleground states. This year, statistics show close numbers for each state's voters. Oxford professor Timothy Garton Ash warns people that the result of the election may not be known for a long time. Because of coronavirus, many are expected to vote through mail-in voting, which would take weeks to count correctly. A concern that many U.S. citizens have is how their ballots will be handled. In some states, there have been reports of ballot boxes being burned or fake boxes set up so that people cannot send their vote. Some post offices have even refused to accept ballots. Also, voter suppression is claimed to be happening. Some people have to wait over eight hours in line to cast their vote. Not only that, but Trump has often said that he may not accept the election results. If the election result is contested, the Supreme Court could be the one to make the final decision. So who do you think will win the 2020 election? Thanks for listening, and I'll see you all in class.